Good morning everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we're going to do lizard training day. So this could go extremely wrong or it could go extremely well. We're going to try and do stuff with the uh, black spiny tailed iguana. Uh, we, we do stuff with the sailfin, she's been a bit sassy lately. I think she's planning on laying some more eggs again. Uh, but we'll give her a one service see if she wants to come out and stuff like that. Um, we do a bit with the European eyed lizard and we'll just see, well, maybe the blue tongue as well. So we'll have a good day today, see how we get on, see if we can make any progress with any of the lizards with the handling. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring the bell for me, and let's find out if Alice gets bit. Ha ha ha. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our smallest one and work our way up to the biggest one. So we're gonna do European eyed lizard first. We're gonna, we're gonna be trying to do baby steps at the beginning. So we're gonna be putting some mealworms or stuff in my hand, see if he'll come and actually eat from my hand and maybe put, him, put his hands on me or something like that. Very, very beginning stages because he's still very skitty. We're also then gonna be doing the blue tongue skink. And then we're gonna be doing um, sail fin. I don't know what we can do really with the sail fin. We'll just get her out for the afternoon. And then we're doing the black spiny tailed iguana. Basically, we're just going to be trying to let him touch us, maybe let him pick us up. Very, very surprised if he lets us pick him up, but he might do. So I'm going to see if I can cover myself because he's just going to scratch me to hell. Um, but we see how we get on. So we'll start with the European oid lizard. Okay, so I've got some Mario worms. The idea is I'm going to put one on my hand, put it in there. See if we come and eat it off my hand. He's just gone back in. He came out and he's gone back in. So uh, let's see if we can get him to come back out of his hole. See his tail. And he does have an eye looking just at us. He does. He's being a little bit slow. He's hiding away. So we're going to see if we can get ourselves a wormy. And we're going to put it in here. And see if he'll come and take it. Oh, there he is. Okay. What do you think, buddy? Want a wormy? Want a wiggly worm? Oh, no, no, it's cheating. It's cheating. Or do you want to try a locust? Because you might not be having worms. We'll get him a locust, see if he's more keen on that. Yes, we've got a locust now. Oh, oh, oh. Good boy. Good boy. That's the first time he's took food from my hand and not tongs. And hasn't bit me. So that went really well, didn't it, buddy? So let him eat that one. I'm gonna grab another one. I'm doing, I'm wedging it in my hand, and I'm just gonna be just a little bit out and see if he's gonna come around and see if he's gonna have it. That brown stuff as well, that's what the uh, locust like froze up uh, to almost make it taste nasty so he doesn't come out. It's like a defense mechanism. Don't bite me from, don't bite me from. Yes, look, he's on my hand. Good boy. What a good lad. Touched my hands, didn't attack me. We're gonna try one more after this one. So we're gonna let him do that. I want to give him a little touch. Just a little touch. Hey buddy, you am okay? You am okay, let's get another bug. Might have been a little bit early, might have freaked him out a little bit. But we're gonna, oh, is, was he gonna turn around and come back? Where's he gone? He's right at the back over there. So we're gonna try over here. Are you gonna come out? And there's his tail. Hey buddy, look, we've got another one. And we've got my thumb to get his attention. Oh, here he comes. He's attracted by the wiggle of my thumb, but I'm hoping he's gonna go for the locust. Yes! Good boy, good boy. This has gone really well. So we're not gonna push it anymore. He's had two hand feeds today, actually coming on, well, touched my hand at least twice. So that's a nice little step forward. I'm not gonna push him anymore. We wanted to end with a good ending. Always wanted to finish happily. So you want him to remember the interaction went really well and he wasn't scared. If you, if you end it and he's having a panic attack, that's all he's gonna remember. He's not gonna remember any of the good stuff that happened, he's just gonna remember the panic at the end. So even if he does panic, you've gotta wait till he calms down again and you reward the calm behavior by leaving. Remember, and then he remembers then, oh, well, no, as soon as I calm down, 
They left me alone and it was fine. So uh, that's the best way of working it. Mr. Blue Tongue time. So first test is we've got to find him. We've got to find him and see what he's doing. He does prefer this end. So we're going to have a little pokey around. Oh, got a bit of shed. He's been shedding. Okay. Oh, okay. I sees him. I sees him. There, look. There he is. Okay, so we need to find where his head is. Okay, there's his head. Okay, we're going to switch camera so we can get a better look at him and we'll see if we can lure him out and have a bug off my hand. Okay, buddy. He's not super keen. I am. I was going to try the uh, the hand thing. You going to have some, buddy? Hey, what's Alex got for you? Oh, oh! Touch the moss. There we go. Let's have a look at you. Come on, look. Oh, look what Alex has got. Now well, we might have to just try actually just pick you up. Let's have a look. There he is. Look. Look at him. No, he's not going to do any hand feeding. Oh, so we might try and see if we can pick him up and get him just to calm down for us while we pick him up. Hello. Hello. You okay, buddy? Oh, hello, my friend. Let's set the camera. Hey, hello. What are you doing? Hey? What's he doing? He's calm right down. And yeah. And you're a good boy. What's Alex got for you? Want to try some boogies? You can have some boogies if you want. This is the calmest he's ever been. He's never ever been this calm. Normally he kicks off. He's wiggling, he wants to get away, but he's actually holding on to me and he's not kicking off. So I'll just grab the locust. What's this? Is he a locust? It's because it's not a pinky, you're not interested, isn't it? Look, here I'm, look. Oh, it's a locust. Wow, he's doing really, really well. I've never seen him this, this nice coming out the tank. Here I'm, look. Wanna try it? He loves locusts. A little bit nervous because you're out and about, anybody. A little bit nervous. It's okay. You're all right, my friend. Oh, you licks as soon as I takes it away. If you lick it, you might realise it's a buggy. Oh yes. See, he licked it. Realise it's a bug? No, he didn't realise. So I just took it in his tank. You can eat it. Oh, we got a little bit of a hissy. You okay, my friend? Oh, we got a little bit of a hiss. He's doing okay, though. There we go. Look at that. He's a nice big boy. Not as big as he will get. They can get almost double the size of this. Can't you, mate? You can get a big boy. Yes, he can. Oh, he doesn't like being touched on. Oh, he's going, he's going, calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm right down for me again. You a good boy. Doesn't like me touching him on the back. Okay, we can not touch her on the back. We can we can cater to that. We won't touch her on the back. We let you climb around. There we go. Climb around free as anything. No one's going to touch you. Everybody's going to leave you alone. Got to get the angle out so everybody can see you. He's got absolutely stunning markings. Hello. Yeah, that's my arm. That is. Want to try a locust? Oh, he's huffing and puffing. Okay, as soon as you calm down, we'll put you back. Stop rearing yourself up. Calm down. It's because I'm above you. Chill out for me. You okay? Oh, he doesn't want me touching. Okay, I won't touch. I won't touch. Just don't bite me, okay? Just calm him right down. We don't want hisses. So I'm going to go really slow because I've got to itch my nose. 
didn't want to scare him. So he's calming right down now, so I'm going to pick up the camera. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to sit here nicely with him until he calms down. And then we'll put him back in his tank. Hey? Whoop. Hey, I'm buddy. You having to climb around? Oh, you want to come at the top? Come at the top then. What are you doing? Hey? You having an explore? He's never done this. Never ever done this. What are you doing, buddy? Can we see here? Oh, he's having an explore. How you doing, buddy? This is going well. What are you doing? Oh, huffs and puffs. Huffs and puffs. Hey, bud. You enjoying being out? If you behave like this, we can get you out more and more. Yeah. We want you nice and tame for a nice customer. So you can be and have a nice forever home. Yeah. That's the plan. Mm-hmm. You wanna go back in the tank? Are you happy chilling with Alex? We can put you back in the tank, I'd have to do some spinner roonies. Let's go all the way around. All the way around. Spinner roonies. Spinner roonies. And then we have to come down nice and low. You wanna go back in your tank? So I'm gonna let him decide if he wants to go back or not. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Really nice. He chose just to go off nicely. He did have a little bit, a couple of hisses, but he's going to. It's only the first two or three times we've had him out. So I'm just going to put his moss back where it was, put his log back, and there we go. I think that went really well. <laughs> first time he's ever actually climbed over me at his own accord. Normally it's just wiggle, 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 attack. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So we've done really well then. I'm really happy with that. So next time we'll get him out a little bit longer, we'll let him climb all over me, whatever he wants to do, we'll let him do. And then, um, yeah, he's going to be a nice, tame lizard for somebody. I'm, I'm pretty confident he's not going to bite. That's the main thing. He's not going to give anybody any bites because they've got quite strong jaws, because they've got nice big heads. Um, so you don't want to take a bite off him. So I'm, I'm pretty happy he's not going to bite. Um, and he's not much of a wriggler. He has a couple of seconds when he wriggles, but uh, he was fine once he doesn't like having you over him like that. If you're hold, holding an open palm and letting him walk around, he's absolutely fine. He just doesn't like having anything on his back. So when I touched him on his back, he was flinching and hissing and stuff. So remember that. We can always try desensitizing him to that over time. So touching him on his shoulder, uh, on his back every now and again. Um, but yeah, slow process, but he's doing really well. Lizard number two, and my arm already looks like this. We're not doing very well today. <laughs> scratchy, scratchy, scratches. Okay, definitely then. So, what's the plan for the sail fin? Well, what I'm thinking, she hasn't been eating very much lately, and she hasn't been willing to come out and feed on her feeding log. She's been trying to get me to feed her in her tank. She doesn't want to come out. So we're gonna try and lure her out today onto a feeding platform and get her used to doing that again. Uh, we're trying with fishes today. So we had a load of fishes come in, dried fishes, no. Whole fishes that are frozen. Um, so we're gonna try her on them because she loves her fishes and we haven't had any in for a bit. Well, we have, but I had to ration them off for the animals that only eat fish, basically. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the ladders out, we're gonna get all set up, we'll make up a little bit of room so Alex can get in, and then we shall get her out, see if she wants to have some munches. Come on then, Mrs. Sailfin. Any egos? Mark right, Morgan's done a fresh water bowl for you. Well, swimming pool. No egos that I can see. We've got our fishies, though. So I'm gonna... Put them down here for now. I'm gonna see what she's up to. Hello. Would you like a fishy? Would you like a fishy today? We can bring you out and have a swim in the pond or something if you want. Oh, I think we're shedding. Yes. Yeah, there's a brown, slightly darker patch from there to there. 
So I think she's shed and she's just got that little bit left to go. So that is what it is, darling. Oh, she's not, she's not happy with me. I don't know why. Okay. What if Alex shows you a fish? No? Okay, what if we bring you out and show you a fish? Well, calm down, you're okay, you're okay. On your log. Don't stay. Would you like a fishy? Dude, who likes fishies? Anyone want a fishy? No? You're not being a fuss pot lately. And yeah. Hey? Don't want no foods. Don't want no fuss. Don't want to come out on the log. Well, no jumpies on me. You can go back in. Hey, come up, come up. Ow, ow. Okay, we'll try again. Let me open the other door. Oh. Yeah, she's been that funny lately. It's hard to do any training with her at all. Hey, darling. Fishy. He likes fishies. Not today. Not today, eh? Come out for a little bit then. We won't go on the log. Oh, 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 calm down, calm down. You're okay, you're okay. Look, come on me. Yeah, look. There you go. What you doing? You want to go back in the tank? Yeah, too stressy today. Not keen. Not keen on it today. What if we feed you in the pool? Do you want to try that? No, you just made me bleed. No. Oh well, I'm not gonna force her to do anything she doesn't want to do. So I'm afraid the sale thing has been a big sale. Big fail today. Big fail. We gotta cut off her though, so. Oh well, I was hoping you'd be good today and have some fishies. Since you didn't have any mouse yesterday. She's not quite happy. I think. I think she's gonna produce some more egos for us, I do, I really do. When she goes like this, she has a weird moment for about two, three weeks, and then she drops some egos. But that's all we can do, that's all we can do. So it looks like we can go around and feed a lot of our predatory animals, well, fishes, because we've got loads of fishes to feed off. So, uh, Mr. Iguana might like them, but if, he, if the sailfin's done that, the, uh, he's, gonna do, he's just gonna shred me ears. Uh, so I'm gonna have to put my sleeves up. Um, problem is then, he gets stuck in the jacket because his, his claws hook into it and I can't get him off. At least when I'm bare skin, at least he can get off me. Um, okay, so we'll leave these for now. We'll come back to them. We'll feed some of the piranhas and some of the other cool stuff and snappy. And we'll jump on, see what that beast is gonna be like. So what you've all been waiting for, I'm a bit too far forward, spiny tailed iguana time. So he's under that log at the moment, just down there. Hey buddy, how you doing mate? Just give me a little stroke on the tail, let him know I'm here. Go watch it though, because he spins around like that. Hey bud, do you want to come out and say hello? Wah, bah, 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 bah. No hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my hand with my sleeve, just so he doesn't see anything pink. See, no pink, just fit, just, just nice. See, see, so no pink, it's a little strokey. No pinks, okay, good boy. Okay, give him a little stroke. I gotta watch it, see, he's fast. See, no biters, no red. Do you see any red? No. Okay, see? No. It's touches. Just a little touch. I'm okay. Touch, see? There we go. Oh! See, you can see why I've got this on. Thing is, if he bites and shakes his head, he is gonna savage me. He bit me the other day. 
You make how many touching your tail? Oh, it does not like it. Well, if you come in the front, so you can see what I'm doing, hey? Eh? Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy at all. Come on, buddy. Give him a good boy. Come on. See? You give me a stroke, is. Nice stroke, is. Come on, you can be a good boy. You can be a good boy. Come on. Be a good boy for Alex. See? Whoa, you can see my fingers. That's what it is. No, bitey fingers. Okay? No bitey fingers. Okay, you gotta be a good boy. If you're a good boy, I'll teach you with some fishes afterwards, okay? So nice, nice. Yeah. So I'm coming in. Oh, he's going off. Check, you can see what's going on, yeah. Oh, you're okay. Oh, he wants to bite me. See, he touches. Oh, he's not happy. I'm gonna get a bite if I'm not careful. Thing is, what I don't wanna do is get a food bite. If I get a food bite, he's gonna tear me open. Um, if he bites and shakes his head, oh, his teeth are that sharp, he's just gonna rip, me, rip my skin open. Uh, I've had a bite from him already. Um, the other week. You can't see any of it now, but it did hurt. But what we don't want is him to do that again. Uh, let's see if we can give him a little bit of a feed and see if that calms him down enough to uh, let him stroke him a little bit more. Okay, buddy, what about fishes? Target? Okay. Look what's in there. Want some fishes? Okay, I don't want to do that because he'll think my hand's food, so I'll get some tweezers. That's better. Okay. Fishy. You know what a fish is. Don't be a wimpy pants. Come on. Grab your have a fishy. Just taste it. Just taste it. You likes fishes. Why is everyone being funny with me today? Okay. Who's his head? Okay, let's give him a stroke on the tail. There we go, look! And the little stroke is. If we had with this log was out of the way, we could give him a bit more of a some fuss, but he won't let us do it. Okay, have a mouse, no, um, a fish. No? He's shaking his head at me. Okay, what we might do is see if we can actually get him to come out of the tank. Because he might be in defensive mode because he's in the tank. What we might better do is just put a, a tea towel over him, bring him out, and then um, do a tiny bit of just out the tank. He's not gonna like it, but it's gonna get him used to coming out the tank and me holding him without getting shredded. Um, hey, bird. Oh, I touched him on the head. I touched him on the head. I touched him on the head. He didn't like it. He didn't like it, but we touched him on the head. Oh, okay, touch him on top. Yep, touch him on the tail. Hey, buddy, come on, stop being a wimpy pants. Come on. Wow, he's off. I hope the light's playing up. Come on, light, work. There we go. Okay, buddy, you might be in a better position now. Might have be able to do a little bit more with you, eh? Okay, stay there then. I'll cover my hand up. Oh, he's off. Little stroke. Oh, he's doing better now. Let me stroke him a little bit then. Hey, he's coming in the bush. He's like, you can't get me when I'm in the bush. Okay, buddy, come on, eh? I'm doing it bare hand this time because his head's in the bush. Oh, okay, we got him, look, see? That's better, because he feels safe. He's in the bushes. This is the most I've ever touched him. Oh my God. Wow. Most he's ever let me touch him. What a good lad, eh? Oh, well done, boy. 
Well done. Oh, he's off again. He's off again. Okay. We'll try again. Now he's in a different spot. See if we get the same result. Okay. Oh, yes. Good boy. That's it. Can I be cheeky and get rid of this? Oh no, it didn't work, didn't work, didn't work. I scared him. I was trying to make an easy better view for you. Okay, stay there then, buddy. See? Nice. What a good boy. Yes, you are. See, you're going really well now. How nice of you. So I'm going a tiny bit up each time. See, strokies can be nice, look. I can't actually believe he's letting me do this. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Don't let him know that I'm so impressed with him. Don't let him know, that's what I'm whispering. But oh my God, this is the most I've ever, ever touched him. Apart from when we caught him the once and um, we had him in the tea towel. Because he's ran around the shop a couple of times when he's escaped. So I'm getting a bit more stretchy with it. I'm touching him with all my hand on this side and my thumb on this side. And I'm pressing a little bit harder just so it's like a proper stroke. And he's been a good boy, eh? Oh, yeah. Do you like head scratches? Oh no, okay, too high up. Okay, we know where it is, that's fine. You want me to go that high up, we'll stay down here. I'm actually really, really impressed. Well done, my boy. Yeah, you a good boy, let us give you strokies. I can't believe he's letting us do this. I really can't believe that. Wow. Just a little bit of persistence. He's realized nothing bad's gonna happen. And he's just accepted that we're stroking him. I'm super, super impressed. I never thought we'd get anywhere near, near, near this today. As I said, I thought we'd have to chuck a blanket sheet over him or at least I'd get bit. Now he's realized at first he was all into food. Then he realized we weren't gonna give him any food and uh, we just wanted to give him a stroke. I'm right up high again. Okay, is he closing his eyes a bit? I might switch to a different camera so we can get a close-up. Look at this! What a good boy he is. Let me give him strokes. Oh, he's even starting to close his eye. He's closed his eye. Oh, he's closed his eye. Oh my God, he's enjoying it. Yes! What a good boy. Yeah, you are. Oh, this is gonna be nice now. Couple more little stints like this, and he's gonna be a proper cool lizard. Because the thing is, look at his claws. Oh, doesn't want me touching his feet. Doesn't want me touching his feet. If I zoom in on that cl front claw though, look at that. They're like raptor claws. You would not want to get a scratch from them, because they do literally slice your hand up like this. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, too, too high up. Okay, okay. Good boy. I'll try, I don't know what, I don't want to stop now. See, it'll probably take me weeks before he lets me do this again. Oh, what a bloke. Well done, my friend. Well done. So, we'll see if we can get him some food. Give him as a treat, I think. What a good boy. Off you go, you had enough? Okay then mate, you've had enough. So we're gonna end that there. I'm not gonna push him anymore. Because if we push him, it's just gonna scare him and he may have a little bit of a, a fright and then he'll remember the fright if we don't calm him down again. So he's calm now, he's let us touch him and stroke him more than he's ever let me touch him ever. So I'm really, really happy with his progress. Really happy how he's gone on today. We've finished with him being chilled out and mellow and happy. Busted, couldn't have got any better. And I still got all my fingers. And it's a little mousey to treat this, the uh, iguana because he was such a good boy. Let's see how we get on.
Everybody, no fuss, no fuss. We're not going to mess with you. We're not going to mess with you. This is just a reward for being such a good boy. Calm down, ready? Wow, wow you, threw, you ripped it in half and threw a half eaten mouse at me. Yeah, he took it clean in half. Clean in half. There we go. You are, so that's what he would have done to me finger. That's what I don't want him to do. Oh, what's that? What's that? I don't know what that is, it's an organ. Throw that away. There we go, buddy, such a good boy. Okay, I'm sorry, oh no, you've done a lot. I said I wasn't gonna touch her, sorry. This is done so well, I couldn't resist seeing if it still works. But I think I got away with just a bit of wet mouse touching me and not a half mangled body. Let's feed off these fishes that nobody wanted. Oh, you're hungry today, ain't ya? Yes, you are, my boy. Okay, hang on. Oh, he's too quick. Too quick for me. I'll try and make him splash. Can we have a splash then? Wow. Good lad. There's bits of a fish in there. Oh, he just took the, He just didn't even flinch. He just swung his head and that was gone. Oh, I think he's had enough. Two and a half. I average that out. But we leave them bits in there and he can munch on them at his leisure. Look at the teeth on him. What a beast. Piranorama time. Oh, little wimpy piranhas kicking off. So we're going to do three fishes for them. Because there's so many. Let that go down. And then it can have a little bit of a munch. I think we've still got ten. I don't think anyone has been eaten. We'll have to do a head count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten is right there in the bushes. What are you doing, number ten? You okay? You're not hiding in the bushes for a reason, are you? He looks good. He looks good. Right there, these are big wimpy pants, so they won't eat until I've been gone for ages. We've got our big piranha that's left. We'll put two in for him. He's a big boy. Oh, and it scared him. You big wimpy pants. And then we've got one for Mr. Puffy. Oh, he's got one. He's got one. He's okay. Hey, Puffs. What are you doing? Sulking because you, you can't get to the fishes. I know, I know. Off he goes. Little avocado puffer. But the rest is going to go for Snapposaurus. <laughs> Okay, buddy, you hungry? Alex has got food for you. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I got loads of fishes. Ooh. Fishy for Snappy? Chomp. What a good boy. And drop another down one down for you. It's floating now. Sink fish. You don't you don't swim around, you're dead. Go to the bottom. That's better. Oh snappos. Bunk. You can have a good feed today. So we've got loads of fish heads. Half fishes, they're all landing on his back. <laughs> you're not gonna get them, am you snappos? I've put it a bit further away. Is it going to land in front? Oh, 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 yeah, we got it. These ones will float off and he'll be able to get them later on today. Just saving them for later, aren't you, Snappos? Yep, saving them for later. Even his eyes got armor plating. So cool. Before we finish, we've got 
Little Max Snow is going to his forever home today. And literally, I'm just about to close the shop, so. Um, he's, I'm taking him to, I'm dropping him off on my way home. Uh, and then, he had a forever home for one of the axolotls, so he's gone to a forever home today, so that's really, really nice. As you see, we took the reserve sticker off. We've got a couple, we've got this one's reserved, ain't you, buddy? Yeah, he's chilling around. So, uh, yeah, we're doing really well, so tomorrow, we we'll select another one. I'm we'll gonna put him on display. Well, I think that's all the time I got for today. Sorry I didn't get bit, but it's good for me, bad for you. <laughs> Bridget, you didn't get to see me get bit, but I've got all my fingers, so it's kind of a win-lose situation for you. But <laughs> so, uh, if you want to watch the video, there should be one. I'm getting confused with this now. There. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. Now that was right. Um, if you want to help support us, there's a link in the description below or you can click the join button next to subscribe if you're on your computer. Uh, we've also got Snake Island merch. I'm ordering more myself because I, I want one for every day. I want to wear one every day when I'm in the shop. And uh, I've got to order some more Fossil Monday tops and stuff like that. So if you want to jump on that, there's loads of stuff on there. There's hoodies, jumpers, socks, everything. So uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye.